So guys, we are back and we're actually on the road heading down to uh, London to pick up the uh, rims for the GTR. So right now it is nine in the morning and it's gonna take us two hours to get to London. And that's basically about 123 miles away. There's a lot of traffic right now, so it could take a little longer. Hopefully it don't, because we have got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, so we bought the rims uh, from London uh, because they were on for a very good price. Uh, the rims that we bought are actually the same as what we got right now, but they've been painted black and uh, they don't come with the tire pressure sensor, but we can use the ones that we got on our already original set of rims. So we can just kind of move them over to the new set. We might have to actually repaint the whole uh, set of rims as well, depending on how bad the paint job is. Uh, we were actually planning on getting the new, uh, the new rims that you get in the 17 plate. But the only problem is they were on for quite a lot. They were on like for double the price for, for what we paid for these rims. So we decided to kind of cut the budget a little because there are still a lot more parts to buy for the car and just go for like the cheaper option because <clears throat> there's still loads of parts to buy for the GTR. And like I said before guys, it's going to cost about like maybe between six to about eight grand just in parts. So hopefully uh, we'll be in London in about two hours time. So we got the rooms in the back of the car now. Uh, we're just about to leave uh, London. It's gonna take about two hours, 20 minutes to get back. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a long drive back as well. Um, yeah, so we spoke to the guy. He's got a 13 plate GTR. He's a really nice guy. Uh, he was just talking about how he's upgraded to the, to the new rims. So he's got the rims that I was actually talking about earlier on. And uh, that car that we drove past, that GTR, that's not his GTR. He's, he's obviously got the new rims on his, so yeah. But once we get back to Birmingham, we'll show you guys the rims and uh, we'll show you what condition they're in as well. So we just got back from London and uh, these are the rims that we purchased. It's the same rim as what we got right now, but they're in black. Uh, so I just had a look at the condition of them. They're not too bad to be honest. I mean, this one's got a bit of curb marks around this section here. But the rest of them don't have any curve marks at all. Uh, there is one rim that's got a bit of uh, latte coming off, just there and there as well. So we're gonna have to refurb this one on that one. But most likely we're gonna refurb it all. That way you'll get one uniform color uh, instead of having different shades of black. Uh, anyways, I know one of these tires does have a, uh, a nail going through, so that would definitely need replacing. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Comment down below what looks better. Does it look better in black or does it look better in grey? I mean, my personal preference, I think it looks better in black. I mean, grey on grey, it's a little plain and boring. If you've got the black on there, you look a bit more aggressive and look a bit more stealthy as well. So yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna basically put these away and these gonna start working on the GTR. So we're gonna start removing our box sections. Um, I did mention on the previous video, we will be removing this mid section first as it overlaps on this uh, box section right here and this section right here. The change of plans for now will be removing this first. And basically this joint is literally just underneath here and it stops right here. So what we'll do is we'll get them four spots up and that should let us um, lift the eye and same with the top. If we drill out two spots right here and two spots at the top, that should just allow us to actually lift this right back if you lift this uh, box section up. Uh, so this obviously will need to be removed, this little foam pad right here. Uh, and this part right here basically should have come off with the quarter panel. Uh, to me it actually looks like a joint uh, from this section right here. So uh, obviously when we're removing a new one, we'll, we're going to be doing it properly. There's two spots and that should come off with the quarter panel. And a lot of you guys were mentioning on the previous video about um, uh, safety glasses. I've got them turned so we get them on and start working.
So our top part of the panel has been removed. I actually did think there's a joint right here, but it's actually not. It's one piece running down the bottom. So what we'll have to do for this section right here is cut a joint, uh, sorry, cut it straight through and put a joint on it, literally from there to there. Uh, so leave that there for now. Uh, to actually remove this arch right here, I had a look at it. We need to get the stock section off because there's a few spots inside that we need to get to. So uh, to do that, we'll have to remove this side bar here because it's overlapping onto this bar. So once that's done, then we can actually get access to that. So what we'll do is we'll get a start on this, uh, removing this section right here first. So guys, after an hour and a half of drilling, literally, constantly, I've drilled them all out. You see right there. So before we could actually remove this section right here, uh, we need to remove our impact sensor, which is attached to the piece we're going to remove, which is right here. So just undo that and remove that. Also, there's another thing. Basically, there's a bar that runs along here that goes all the way down to that section. Uh, we need to actually undo that. There's some 12 mils, uh, mils on it, some bolts. You need to get them out. There's four on there. Once you remove that, then we can actually get it out because there's basically like a bracket. You see right here the spots for that uh, bar where it bolts onto is actually on here. So if you undo that, then that will come out. all been removed so the next stage is actually to remove these two sections here then we start drilling our wells out for the arch uh, to do that we'll have to remove this part right here once that's been removed we can start unstitching it uh, same again this basically goes underneath this box right here and the joint is here so uh, yeah once we drill all that out we can basically slide it out this has actually got a seam weld right here here and here uh, we'll have to grind that all off then we start popping it all out
So all the box sections around this area is all clear now, so we can start moving towards the back. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is all one piece. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to put a joint around here and around here, so we can actually cut it. So what I'm going to actually do now is I'm going to measure it up from this point to actually where we're going to be cutting. So when we're cutting our donor panel, it's cut to size. Uh, once that's done, uh, there's a few spots running along here and a few box section, uh, sorry, a few spots around that box section that needs cutting out. Then what we'll do is we'll get this one whole piece out together when we unstitched all our back end. So we'll start measuring that top section up and start uh, drilling all our spots out now. So we can start disassembling the back section of this panel. So by doing that, we have to actually remove the crash bar, the lower support, and also the uh, latch as well. We need to get that cable right out. Right. Once we've done that, then we can start actually drilling all these spot welds out. Right? So our back panel is ready to work on now, so everything will be removed, so it's nice and clear for us. Um, we're going to mark up all the spots, we're going to punch them. Uh, once that's done, we start drilling them all out. We've got to get all the seam sealer off as well. That seam sealer needs to come off. I think we'll do that first. Get that seam off, then punch it. Then we start drilling it all out. And once that's all done, we've got like a little seam well right here. We need to grind that down because we're not taking this section off right here. So grind that seam off, grind that, grind that one off, and that way we should have a complete back section come out. So we've got the main masterpiece off, which was uh, the back section. It's all come off in one piece. Uh, for some of you guys, I think why I actually grinded this off, it was because it's actually got three pieces in total with the welder. 
So uh, basically this spot here puts the them three sheets, well them two and this sheet together. So what I wanted to do was I didn't want to go all the way in. If you drill all the way in, it's a thin metal, it'll go straight through. So what I thought of an idea was I'll, uh, I'll get all the spots off, then cut right down where I did, get that piece separate, then we left for this piece right here. So when that was on this piece right here, I actually drilled through it, uh, not too much to damage the panel, just about so we could get this uh, part right off. So then after that, chiseled it all off, uh, then we've got a complete panel off, so this is all saved now. So when we put a new panel on, it'll be one complete piece. And you can see right here where I cut the seam. This is where the actual joint is. There's like a little seam well there and a yeah. seam well down the bottom. I think the next stage what we need to start doing is getting that uh, arch off as well, drilling it all out. There's loads of spots. We're going to start off from this yeah. part right here. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a bit of a clean so you can see our spots. Uh, there's about two here, probably one down here. Basically clean it all up, uh, drill all our spots off going along the top. You can see where it actually separates the two sections. Yeah. That's where the joint is. But around here we'll have to actually drill more in because we're cutting into two layers, not one. Because that spot basically, there's three layers. There's one on the outside, arch on the outside, inner arch. And you got this layer as well, that's like three into one. So we'll have to drill more into it to actually um, get that out. So you basically got to drill through two layers to get this one out. Yeah, this basically one two here, layers. Yeah. one there to get away from this back. Uh, all plate. the way down, going down all the way up to here. So all these spots need to come off. There's loads of spots right around here and around this section right here. But once that's off, you can chisel it from the inside. Yeah. This part right here, we need to do from the inner, inner side. Arch. Yeah. If you so come right here, you need to remove all that seam sealer. Oh yeah. Get the light right. So you basically cut all that seam sealer out. Oh, okay. The blade's a bit. Just chisel it out. Yeah, the blade's a bit blunt now, but there's loads of seam sealer on it, so it'll take a bit of time. We'll have to basically clean all that out. Yeah. That way, once it's cleaned, we can just chisel up. Once we got around, basically this, from this point to this point, we need to get underneath and chisel it. After that, our um, spots are easy to come out. You just put a chisel right here, and you can see the joint. Yeah, you can. You can put a chisel right here, all the way down to the bottom, and that will come right off. So I think yeah, we start so getting uh, working on that now. So you finally got the majority of the pounds off that quarter panel. There is a little bit of work that he's doing. Uh, once we've done that little bit of work, we can start uh, cutting into the donor panel. Uh, before we do that, obviously, we start taking measurements as well. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. That way you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Uh, yeah, because we're going to end it there. If you haven't already, be sure to uh, follow us on Instagram at Performance Rebuilds. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next GTR video.